Rounding. How can we round numbers to different places? Sing along, kids. Find the place you're rounding to. Look next door for what to do. For the digits five through nine. Round the number up the line. For the digits zero through four. Round it down, do nothing more. Round up five through nine. Round down zero through four. Rounding numbers is so easy. Let's say we wanted to round the number 546 to the nearest hundreds place. We'll find the place you're rounding to, the hundreds place. Look next door for what to do. For the digits zero through four, round it down, do nothing more. So since this is a four, we're gonna round the number down, which means the five stays the same. Everything to the right becomes a zero. 546 rounds to 500 when rounded to the nearest hundreds place. Now let's round 546 to the nearest tens place. So find the place you're rounding to, the tens place. Look next door for what to do. For the digits five through nine, round the number up the line. Well, six is between five and nine, so I know I'm going to round the four up to a five. Everything to the right becomes a zero. Everything to the left stays the same. 546 rounds up to 550 when rounded to the nearest tens place. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Rounded numbers always end in zeros. In fourth grade math, we will be rounding numbers to the millions period. Lucky for you, the rules stay the same. We're just rounding bigger numbers now. Whoop. Let's round 3,950,182 to the nearest millions place. That just means we're trying to figure out which millions it's closer to, three million or four million. Find the place you're rounding to and circle that digit. So we're rounding to the millions place, so we'll circle the three. Look next door for what to do. So let's draw an arrow over to the nine. For the digits five through nine, round the number up the line. So because we see a nine, we are going to round the three up to a four. Everything to the right becomes zeros. So this number rounds up to four million. And it means that it would be closer to four million if we placed it on a number line. Let's round that same number to the nearest hundred thousands place. Will it round down to three million nine hundred or up to four million? We'll find the place you're rounding to and circle it. The hundred thousands place. Look to the right for what to do. I see a five, so that means that the nine is going to round up. The nine rounds up to a ten, but because we can't have two digits in one place, that one will have to be added to the millions place. One plus three equals four, and everything to the right becomes a zero. You guessed it, this number rounds up to four million. And finally, let's round this number to the nearest ten thousands place. We're just trying to figure out which ten thousands it's closer to. Three million nine hundred fifty thousand? or 3,960,000? Let's find out. First, find the place you're rounding to and circle it. This time it's the 10 thousands place. Look to the right for what to do. We see a zero, so for the digits zero through four, round it down, do nothing more. When we round down, the circle digit can stay the same. So the five will stay a five. Everything to the right will become a zero. Everything to the left will stay the same. This number rounds down to 3,950,000. That just means it would be closer to 3,950,000 if we were to plot it on a number line. In this lesson, you learned how to round numbers to different places.